Our Saturday special is a beef rib, big brontosaurus bone. Oh, wow. I don't know if I've had beef rib before. Just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Smoky, mm. juicy, delicious. Again, tender, pull off the bone. I know, I think if I just went like this, it would be like, Yeah, Whoop. you could, you, it would pull Holy right out. Holy moly. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Jacqueline Maines, your hostess with the mostest at America's Best Restaurants. And today we're in Dunedin, Florida, checking out Q Southern Barbecue, where they take different regions of barbecue and bring it to one place. Let's go see what they're all about, come on. So where are we? Where did I just show up? You Southern Barbecue. That's right. And who are you? Aviana, Avon, Avon. And hold on. So do you guys just hang out here sometimes, or? No, it's a dad's restaurant. Oh, I gotcha. I gotcha. So what are your favorite things to eat at your dad's restaurant? Um, mac and I cheese. I like pizza tots. I like the ribs and the mac and cheese. Oh my goodness. So you think I'm gonna get to taste all of those things? Yes. Yes. So am I gonna love it? Yes. yes. Okay, let's go meet your dad and let's go try some food. All right, so now I'm back in the kitchen with Pitmaster Cameron. So what are you going to make me first? We're going to do our Kakalak sandwich. This is one of our more popular sandwiches. Okay. Paying homage to the Carolinas and their Carolina style barbecue. We take a little bit of both of North Carolina, South Carolina, smash it together on a sandwich. Awesome. So that way there's no rivalry. <laughs> Everyone in Carolina can, yeah, can be okay. Happy. So what we do is we have our Pork butt ready to go. We're going to hit it with a little North Carolina vinegar. We're going to drizzle it with some South Carolina mustard base, mm -hmm. South Carolina gold. Yeah. And then we do a vinegar base slaw. I see that. I noticed it was not creamy. It's it is not creamy. It's not your traditional. Well, but the way this pairs with that sandwich is exactly why I made that slaw for this sandwich. For that sandwich. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And then you got to have some bourbon baked beans. All right, I'm diving in on this bad boy. Do it. Oh yeah, that's delicious. I love that sauce. That meat is just like melts right in your mouth in the bite. Mmm, it's so juicy. I love the crunch too that you get crunch from the slaw. Mmm, that's beautiful, man. But also, you didn't load it with too much sauce to where I can't taste the meat because I can right. still get all that smoky meat flavor in my mouth. Mmm, yeah. yum. That is so delicious. All right. I know you've got more for me to try. We do. And more to talk about, so let's do it. Let's get it. Um, have to have burn ends. Um, the best burn ends I've ever had. From Texas, from the Carolinas, from wherever you want to be. I, I struggle with brisket or burn ends. Which do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Because they're both so good, so. But mostly burn ends. The atmosphere is amazing. Everybody is so polite and goes out of their way to treat you with respect. It's a little hidden, so don't be afraid to look for it. All right, so Cameron has provided me with a ton of food to try, which I'm excited about. Walk me through what I'm looking at. Um, we have a little bit of everything. Okay. So Texas style brisket is what we're known for. Mm. Um, traditional salt, pepper seasoning, low and slow. It's not, I can't tell you, it's 12 hours, 13 hours, it's when it's done. Oh. That's how we do it. Because you're looking for something specific? I, I do it by feel. Oh. So I know when that brisket is give, when it has that give to it and the jiggle. Okay. So that is when it's done. Ah, uh, that is cool and interesting. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, we have a St. Louis style rib. Mm -hmm. So a pork rib, yep. all dry rub. All of our meats are dry rub. There's no sauce on anything. That's what you have to compliment. Mm, okay. um, we have our sweet garlic buffalo chicken wings. Those mm -hmm. are smoked in the smoker and then they're finished on, on the grill. Put a little char on it, yes. and then toss in that sweet garlic buffalo. So you're going to get some sweetness on the front end, that spice on the back end. Mm -hmm. My mouth's watering. <laughs> Our Saturday special is a beef rib, big brontosaurus bone. Oh, wow. I don't know if I've had beef rib before. It's delicious. I'm excited about this it's now. It's delicious. Only I a love, pork one. I love okay. beef rib. Smoking it is delicious. Braising it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I love a beef rib. Um, and back here, 
rounding out everything is our burnt ends. Yeah. That's our Friday special in-house. If you know about it, you know about it. People <laughs> line up on Fridays for the burnt ends. The burnt ends. So we do it uh, kind of, a, it's a KC staple. Okay. We take that point end of the brisket, we chop it up, we put it in our own jus, and it goes back in the smoker, and it just becomes a tender oh my just, just like it's just... morsel. Oh, geez, look at all that. I love the flavor in that. It's, it's, that def, is, it's building flavors is what we're about. The smoky, the sweet, I got that. Yep. Love the texture. Yes. Okay, that's delicious. Uh, very nice. All right, and this is the... That's the I, beef I feel like I just gotta like... Just go for it. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. Smoky, mm. juicy, delicious. Again, tender. Pull off the bone. I know, I think if I just went like this, it would be like, Yeah, Whoop. you could. You, it would pull Holy right out. Holy moly. Uh -huh. It's got that bark of a brisket, um, the bite like a brisket. It's just, mm. it's, it's so meaty. That is yummy. Uh, Take me back to the beginning. Beginning was, uh, we opened in February of 2020 three weeks before COVID. For the first three weeks, it was a madhouse. It was crazy. It was awesome, hair on fire. Mm -hmm. And then COVID took over the world. Right. And we had Audible and just throw out the business plan and rethink everything. So luckily we had a service window that we wanted to use for third party pickup to make right. it fast. That ended up being our lifeline and we served out of that window and we had limited menus every day and we just did whatever we could to keep it going. You just line up and you would just serve them out of the window. Serve out of the window, six feet apart. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the wall that I'm looking at here with all the patches, talk to me about that one. Yeah, we call that our, uh, our hero wall and we have a collection of patches and coins and memorabilia from first responders, military. I'm not okay. personally one of them, mm -hmm. but I have a huge respect for them and what they do for us. So we encourage them to bring patches in and we put it on our wall and there's a story to every patch and that's what's the coolest thing about it. Barbecues that to me is that cuisine that brings people together and creates that community. Yes. What, like, you don't barbecue for one. Well, yeah, no, you, <laughs> you don't. don't. You don't. You don't, you don't just do it for yourself. No, like it's, it's always. It's a, it's a family, you know, come over for a barbecue, backyard barbecue. It's what brings people together. So having that hero wall it just ties in with what we're doing with community and having the long bench and the tables close to each yeah, other. Yeah, so people just can. Just bring people together. What's this one that I'm That's the sweet garlic to. buffalo wing. Okay. Smoky, grilled, a little bit of char on there, sweetness on the front end, mm -hmm. heat on the back end. Plus I got some of that char too. Yeah. Oh, that Love is good. It. Oh, there's the heat. There yeah. it is. There. <laughs> it won't be overpowering. Mm. Grilled wings, man. I think that's the way to go. It is. The flavor profile is completely different than fried. You get so many more flavors. Q Southern Barbecue. I'm curious about your na naming. The, the Q is in the South. Everybody shortens everything, right? Uh-huh. So barbecue becomes Q. Oh. So we just went Q. Q. And then when I, I started that. talking about Q, the kids started drawing a Q. And they started drawing with a pig nose in it. And then we added the hoof. Like your children? Yeah. Oh, I so love that. So the, the, the nose came about and then the hoof, <laughs> the pig hoofs for the quote. So mm -hmm. we have Q. Anything on the horizon for you guys? Um, there's a couple things on the horizon. Um, Tell me about it. We are looking to bring on a food truck. Uh, some menu changes are coming. Uh, more global barbecue, maybe on the menu. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Pulling it, it, from it, outside of yeah. the region and going. I mean, barbecue's anything uh, cooked over a fire, right? True. So you have South American barbecue. Mm -hmm. You've got the uh, Caribbean style barbecue. Like Hawaiian we, even, we, right? Maybe we could do Hawaiian. Yeah, so we've got some cool things in the future that we're looking at, and, awesome. uh, but don't want to grow too fast because we want to keep that hometown and keep that community a, a focus and do what we do and do it right. So where can we find you online? QSouthernBBQ.com. Mm -hmm. um, we are on Instagram and Facebook at QSouthernBBQ. QSouthernBBQ, cool, awesome. Soon to be on YouTube. True, yeah. <laughs> and maybe a podcast. Now, if you're in the Dunedin area and surrounding, you know where to go to get yourself meat on meat on meat <laughs> and awesome sides. Sauce or no sauce, your choice. I ate all this with no with sauce, no minus, sauce. This one, minus this one, and I loved all the flavor. So 
But you have a variety of sauces. We have a variety too. of sauces. We have something from everywhere: Kansas City sweet, Texas hot, uh, Old Kentucky bourbon, North Carolina vinegar, South Carolina gold for the the Carolinas. <laughs> and then we also created uh, a Tampa Q, which is an espresso infused barbecue, uh -oh. which pays homage to our coffee trade out of Ybor City. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, something different. It's really so, good on the brisket and the burn-ins. Barbecue accented any way you want it, right? Customize it your way. Ah, that's awesome. Thank you so much for having us. Thank, Thank you, you for, for your pit master skills, man. We, we appreciate <laughs> you guys coming out. How well do you know uh, Camden family? I happened to be here with some close friends soon after my daughter's tragic death, and he overheard me talking about a memorial that I had fabricated for my daughter, a blue line flag. And he has one hanging back there, you may notice. And I didn't even know who he was. And he, he stopped in his tracks like he was suddenly frozen, flash frozen and knew about the case of my daughter, sought me out and said, hey, I want to talk to you before you leave. Didn't know me from Adam. And I said, yeah, sure, told my wife. And he did seek me out, and we did talk. And he told me that if we gave him some artifacts memorializing our daughter, he would hang them. We were so touched, um, we couldn't do anything but follow through, and we did, as did he, which is rare these days for somebody to follow through on what they say. He hung it up. We've brought friends and family to see it. Everybody who visits Dunedin has to see the, the tribute to Abby that he did out of the goodness of his heart. We came to know his family to some extent. They're the most wonderful human beings on earth. If this planet was populated with nothing but capris, the world would be a far better place. And I'm not even talking about his food, which is as fabulous as the people. The food is wonderful. The people are better. There is nothing that I, I could overstate about how important having people like Cam Capri in your world, in your life is. And he makes Dundee a better place and the food makes sure you all go, everybody goes away happy. Get over here, eat the stuff, meet the people, and you can say thank you to me later. Well, folks, I'm done eating in done eating. I'm Jacqueline Maines, your hostess with the mostest at America's Best Restaurants, and Q Southern Barbecue is definitely one of America's, America's Best, Best Restaurants. Best restaurants.